All right, so if you watched my last grocery haul, then you know I went a little crazy. I went crazy in here. And here, and here, and in here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be working to make my meal plan and do a freezer and pantry clean out over the next two weeks. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and let's go ahead and get started. Also, yes, my earrings are adorable and they are ghosties for the month of October. We love them. Okay, so for the first dinner, we are going to be making a meal entirely based on ham. That is right. Also, if you watched my last grocery haul, then you saw I bought a huge freaking ham for less than $10. I cooked it in the crock pot last night. We had a bunch. I had some for leftovers today for lunch. We have two huge bags in our freezer and we also have a container left over. So for tonight's dinner, I'm going to be changing it up a little bit and featuring my ham with things I already have. Just as a reminder, recipes are suggestions, not the law, okay? So talk about the substitutions. Half and half instead of milk, just because my husband drinks a lot of his own milk and I try to use half and half in recipes and I need to use this up anyways. Vegetable stock instead of chicken broth because I got this for a dollar at the grocery outlet. So gonna grab those. Ziti instead of penne because that's what I have. Canned peas instead of frozen peas because again, that's what I have. All these seasonings are the same. Ham, flour, the same. Salt and pepper, onion, garlic, whatever. You don't have to use fresh. You could use powder of both of these. I just happen to have fresh of both. And it calls for Parmesan. We don't have Parmesan, but we do have mozzarella. So that's what we're gonna use. Okay, we're friends, right? So like, you won't judge me for pimple patch drying hair. Welcome to day number two of cleaning out our pantry, freezer, fridge, what have you. Tonight's dinner is quite simple because Garrett is not here. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a crescent roll pizza, which is literally like some of the easiest, one of the easiest meals ever. I'm gonna flip it around and show you everything I'm making. Um, you can use pizza sauce, but I always have tomato sauce on hand and it's like, it's so super easy. So basically you just roll out your crescent rolls. You can roll it into little crescent roll doughs if you want. I just lay it out flat. We season it well with like garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning. I'm grabbing them all as I'm talking to you. Crushed red pepper, wherever that is. Salt, pepper, we season it well, right? The sauce and the crescent roll dough. Mozzarella cheese. And we have this pepperoni that we got out of the freezer. I'm honestly gonna take a few, throw it back into the freezer. And for a little green, we're gonna have green beans on the side. And that is voila dinner. Okay, I kinda messed it up in the transportation, but it's really yummy. I love this dinner, it's delicious, easy. Okay, my friends, so you are looking at tonight's dinner. I also have some ground turkey in the sink thawing out. I am currently sick, that's why you're not seeing my face, and that's why I'm making chili. I usually do like double of the beans, um, so I'm gonna do one can of each because I don't want to fill my freezer with a ton of leftover chili, which we normally have. So my plan is to use one can of each. I have this chili starter that I haven't used yet. We're gonna try it. And this thing of diced tomatoes. Usually I use like two cans of diced tomatoes or like a big can of diced tomatoes. So we're gonna see how the ratio looks slash feels like this. Um, I may add some broth as well, but we'll see. Throw everything in the crock pot on high. Um, it's currently uh, around three-ish. We'll probably eat in like three or four hours. Four hours, five hours-ish. So I'm gonna throw it on high, let it sit, let those flavors simmer, and that's gonna be dinner. So I'm gonna add one of these cans of tomato sauce, and then I'm gonna fill this up with water afterwards and add the tomato sauce and the water. All right, my friends, so it's way later. The chili is looking good. I changed it so low. It smells delicious. Uh, one more thing that we're gonna have for dinner tonight is are these Texas-style cornbread mixes, so... That is another thing we're taking out of our pantry. All it needs is some milk and an egg whisked in. All right, I also just used the last two tortillas in this package to make some homemade like tortilla chips with just some oil and salt on it. All right, dinner is ready. I have my little pooh bear bowl plated up. 
I got cornbread muffins and I burnt the little tortilla chips a little bit, but they're fine. All right, friends, it is the next day. I'm definitely not feeling great, but I'm feeling better. Um, tonight is another night of cleaning out our pantry, freezer, cabinet, whatever. The dogs are eating their dinner. And I'm gonna make our dinner. I am gonna be making pork chops, um, like a skillet situation, and like a veggie. I'll show you. Let's go. This is the base of our dinner tonight. The next time I'm film a grocery haul and I tell you guys I'm gonna get the hamburger buns, slap me, okay? I don't need to be buying hamburger buns. I don't use them. I'm literally using two at a time to make garlic bread to eat with dinners. But by the end of this video, I am determined to get rid of these hamburger buns. So, two hamburger buns. I'm gonna use this like skillet classic thing um, just cause I feel like that would be nice and warm my throat and then we're gonna do green beans because delicious and then i have just two pork chops here because i don't have a huge appetite and we don't want leftovers right now i do have leftover chili that i had for lunch today and i did not want it for dinner so this is what we're doing so this is dinner the creamy pasta is definitely giving like chicken and dumplings vibes it was not thickening up i think like the box instructions say to add like tuna or canned chicken or whatever and i think it really relies on that for the recipe itself because it was very liquidy I added like a tablespoon of flour and it eventually thickened up to this. We'll see. I'll probably have to like add salt, pepper or something. Um, green beans, pork chop. That's dinner. All right. And I <laughs> forgot about my buns that were in the oven. LOL. Um, they're a little burnt, but we're going to eat them because we are determined to get rid of these hamburger buns for our pantry cleanup. Hello, friends. Welcome to another day of making dinners to clean out our pantry, our freezer, our fridge, all the things. I've been sick, I still am. I'm feeling better today than I did the past few days. I even have some cute little pumpkin earrings on to prove, <laughs> prove that I'm feeling better. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my small crock pot just cause I'm tired of cleaning out my big one. I'm not sure if that's gonna work with these, but we're gonna try our best. My nails are so bad. I need to stop picking at them. I need to like take them off. Anyways, um, so everything that comes with this recipe I have already, and I'm sure you may have it too. Um, so we're going to throw everything in the crock pot together, let it cook on. Okay. So we're going to keep it on low just cause we don't have a full three pounds. We just have like a few little pork ribs, um, for the two of us. So I'm going to dump everything in. All right. So these have been cooking on low for almost seven hours and they look and smell delicious. I am very excited about those. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes, I think, and... I think we're gonna do a frozen bag of veggies, um, cauliflower or broccoli, to get something else out of the freezer. All right, this is dinner. There's lots of sounds going on around me, but here it is. All right, my friends, welcome to another day of cleaning out our pantry, our freezer, our fridge, the whole nine. So we're gonna be making potato soup. Okay, that's the recipe. I'll link it for you guys below. We are not going to be making it as large as her recipe calls for. Her recipe calls for like four pounds of potatoes. We're going to use this much. And it's going to be a thicker soup, I think, because we're going to use the same amount of these things to get rid of them. Um, but we're only going to use half of this. I'm going to use my small crock pot because, again, I'm not trying to put a bunch of stuff in the freezer. So we're going to do it this way. All right, my crock pot is on low gonna put the whole diced onion in there all right now we're gonna add our potatoes in next we're gonna add in our can of cream of chicken two cups of chicken broth I'm gonna pour some of it into I have a veggie broth by the way and we're gonna let this cook on low for a long time like five hours it is almost 12 o'clock now and then I'll check on it in a few hours, see how we're doing. And then in the last 30 minutes or so, we're gonna add our shredded cheese. It would be much better with cheddar cheese. I don't have that. And then we're gonna do half of this block or the full block. I haven't fully decided yet, but we're gonna add that in as well. All right, the dishwasher is going because I just did the dishes, obviously. I thought about it and I'm just going to use this whole block of cream cheese because what does one, one do with half a block of cream cheese? You know what I mean? So 
So I'm going to put the whole thing in. We're changing it to low at this point. And I was going to add this cheese, but I don't feel like it's going to need it. And plus, I think the only cheese that really would do well in there would be like a cheddar cheese. It is many, many hours later. And this soup is, it tastes amazing. I only added more ground black pepper and some crushed red peppers. I burned the heck out of my mouth, but this is so freaking good. All right, my friends, soup is all bowled up. Of course, my Pooh Bear, my Pooh Bear bowl and Sister Schubert rolls. Yum. My friends, it is the last meal for this freezer clean out. Garrett is so kindly making fish tonight. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Um, so here's everything he is going to use, plus the fish that's selling out over here. <laughs> and you know what that means? This bag of hamburger buns is going to be done. This cauliflower florette will not be in the freezer anymore. Feels good. Let's all take a journey back a few days ago when I first started this video and our freezer, our cabinets, pantry, what have you, looked jam packed, full to the brim. And today, as I am ending this video, my freezer and my pantry and my cabinets look like this. And the biggest win of all time is we got rid of hamburger buns. I'm so excited to get those freaking things out of my freezer. Those were literally in my freezer on the last freezer clean out that I did. They have been sitting in there being tossed around for months at this point. So I am so glad to get rid of those out of my freezer. And if I do not have a meal planned with hamburger buns, smack them out of my hands. Okay. Literally come to the grocery store with me and smack it out of my hands because I do not need to be buying hamburger buns ever again. Anyways, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this uh, freezer pantry clean out video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And please make sure to hang around for more videos coming up very soon. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.